How you going? Um, here we are again. Having a look at this little amplifier. This is um, the new 5 watt amp um, from Big White Monkey. We've done quite a few Big White Monkey products before. Um, this is the first time. Brand new. Um, they've done this kind of model before, but they've uh, vamped it up, made it better. Uh, all valve, even the reverb's valve. No chips in the reverb. Very cool. Um, the foot, even the reverb comes with this little foot switch, which is nice and durable. You can give that a good stomping on. Uh, it's got some gain in it as well as clean. What else can I tell you about it? Um, they've added a choke to this amp, so um, before the the last model was slightly hissy, but got rid of all the noise. Um, much cleaner signal. Um, also. They've added both a, a DI and a headphone, and um, the headphones are full-size jack. I think they had the little one in before, and um, the way it sounds now, you can record direct to the desk, and it sounds really clean and crisp, so it's really great. Um, it's got a voltage selector, so you can be in the USA and be playing, or you can be down here in Oz or in Europe, and no problem, flick the switch, and you're away. Um, other than that, you can run an extension cabinet with it. They even making their own extension cabinets with Celestian vintage 30 speakers. Can't go wrong because um, these now go down to four ohms as well as 16 ohms and eight ohms. Um, so yeah, plenty of features. Let's have a quick listen to it. It's on a bit of distortion at the moment. <laughs> Without the reverb. With the reverb. It's also got an attenuator on the back, so you can um, run the amp really hard but turn the speaker down um, so the amp's running really hard, really hot, and you're going to get uh, more more powerful sound. At the moment I've got the attenuator pretty much off so it's giving a big open sound. Um, that's just my preference but a lot of guys prefer to have the amp running super hot um, with only a small amount of volume coming out of the speaker itself. Um, it's also got a pentode mode switch and a triode mode. At the moment I've got it on the triode mode um, which is just my preference. The pentode mode sounds a lot more um, brighter and crisper, very much more like a Fender amp if you ask me. It hits harder, more vintage, high watt sounding, um, which is great if that's the sound you're chasing. Um, I can get, probably give you a quick demo of that without changing any of the... Give it a quick warm up. Okay, so now we are in pentode mode. It's going to be louder. Turn the volume down a little bit. The reverb gets a little bit more extreme then. Turn down a little bit more. <laughs> it's got more balls. Definitely has that more Vox high watt sound. I'm going to switch it back now because uh, my preference is the triode mode and we'll give you some clean sound really like the clean sound on this amp heavy on the reverb so you can have a listen. That's full. <laughs>
right, so it's got one tone control. I find on the mode that I'm using at the moment, which is the pentode, I, I've got to run the tone up full to get enough brightness, but it still sounds really great like that and not too bright. Whereas uh, in the other mode, obviously, you heard that it's quite harder, quite more brittle, um, and so you'd want to knock the tone down, which I didn't do, but you would want to do. Um, Big White Monkey also make um, a range of different effect pedals. I've got an analog pedal myself and a, um, what's it called, some kind of distortion pedal, um, which I'm using from time to time. Um, I've got one here to run with this amp. This is the Spider. Um, this is pretty much their Tube Screamer equivalent. Um, no, no lawsuits going on here. Um, but it's to get that similar kind of sound. So I'll give you a listen with this amp running on a distortion without it. I've been running it without it the whole time. And now with the spider added on top. So again, same, same lick without it. And then with it. So you can hear it's got that little bit more um, choked, compressed sound. Which, um, without it, a lot less gain, a lot more, lot less singing with it. So it makes it really complements it really well. Um, for me, I'm a bit of a metal head, so really I'd want to add that on all the time. Um, but these are great little amps, great to have a good valve sound, um, both at home or anything really small you need to do. Um, you know, even something like this would be loud enough to play in a lot of churches and stuff like that, um, or just take to a mate's place and wail away and not have that transistor sound, but to have a really good valve sound. Anyway, Big White Monkey, check them out. Um, they're going to be pretty good price too. I heard they'll be somewhere between 300 and 400 Australian dollars, which is absolute value for this kind of thing. Cheers.